Hey everyone, Scott here, also known as Nerebo, and this is a video demonstration of how I drew the all-new Scandinavian Airlines livery. Now, this is a beautiful livery, and it's one that I've been wanting to draw for a long time, but uh, I've been busy, haven't had the chance to get around to it, but I'm doing it today. So here I am in Adobe Illustrator using my line drawing template that I created, all vector. Uh, there's a link to that in the description below if you want to get that for yourself. But I've got that laid down as my base illustration and I'm drawing right over top of it in Adobe Illustrator using the pen tool. And then you can also see that I've got a just a, a couple different reference photos from, uh, I think I got those from airliners.net. And I was just using that as a guide to draw that, that shape or that blue color or that blue portion on the vertical stabilizer. So now that I got that drawn in Adobe Illustrator, it's, it's, a, it's a vector shape that I can edit and scale and, and tweak however I want. I moved over to Adobe Photoshop using my all white Airbus A350 template. And now I'm just going to be placing in those graphics that I created in Adobe Illustrator. And this is a very simple livery. I mean, there wasn't much work that I needed to do in Adobe Illustrator. It was just a simple, uh, that, that blue, that triangle shape that, that cuts the, the rear section of the fuselage. Uh, it's, I, I could have done that in Photoshop, but for me, it's just easier to do it in, in Illustrator. So that's, that's why I do it the way I do. And there's no right or wrong way of doing this. I mean, you can do it however you want, but that's just kind of the, the habits that I've formed for myself over the years. And <laughs> that's how it works. So now let's see, what am I doing? Uh, I'm just working through my PSD template, just kind of, uh, yeah, working on the, uh, the color for the, the engines there, which again, which is just a simple blue stripe at the, the, the forward edge of the engine. So I basically just fill the entire engine shape with color and I just trim away the portion that I don't need. Really simple, really effective. And these PSD Photoshop templates are great because you can just turn off the layers that you don't need. Like if you don't need the landing gear, you don't need the windows, you don't need all that stuff. If it's just a distraction for you, you can just turn that off and you can just just work with the, the portions that you need. So now I am back in Adobe Illustrator and I am drawing the Scandinavian logo, the SAS titles. Uh, yes, there are vector versions of this on the internet that I could have just grabbed and, and used for my illustration. But if you know me, <laughs> you know that I like creating these graphics on my own. I do whatever I can to create everything from scratch, just so it's my illustration. And this is a fairly simple logo to recreate. This, this S was a little bit tricky. Some of these curves were a little bit funky using the pen tool, but if you just have some patience and, and work through everything, you'll make it look good. It's not that hard. You just gotta, just patience. <laughs> that's, that's the most important thing. So, yeah, it looks like I've just got about the, the S is done, and that's the hardest part by far. And now moving on to the A, just simple straight lines, just trace that with the pen tool. And yep, that's easy, just align all my, my edges there at the bottom, make sure they're all on the same plane. Looking good, round the corners a little bit, real simple. And then since I already did the S, it was just a matter of copying it over to the other one. And now I'm gonna punch the hole in the A there. And there I go. I have a vector version of the Scandinavian Airlines logo. And I just copy and paste that back into Photoshop. And since it's a vector shape, I can scale it to any size that I need as I place it onto my aircraft template. And once I get it looking good, it's just a matter of reducing the opacity of it to get that, that silver look. And in order to get the, the sheen of that SAS logo, it, it's a little bit more complicated. I'll get to that in a moment, but uh, let me place this SAS logo on the vertical stabilizer, get that into position. And then I'm actually going to punch a hole in that blue color so the shading of the... Uh, um, the vertical stabilizer comes through. So going back to the SAS titles on the front there, in order to get that sheen of the, the silver metallic color that they used for that, uh, that, that graphic, I'm just simply taking a white paintbrush. Uh, it's about maybe 50% the size of the logo itself, and I'm just dragging straight across the middle of it just to get that highlight. 
And that's it. That's all it takes to get a silver metallic look for that graphic. Now it looks like I'm doing the, yeah, I'm doing the, uh, the registration and I think I'm using DIN on this as I always do, uh, at least for most of my aircraft registrations for my, um, uh, just for the, the renderings that I do. DIN just seems like a, like a, I don't know, it's, it's a common font. It may not be the font that all the airlines use, but it looks good enough. It's close enough for, uh, for the kind of work that I do, which isn't, 100% photorealistic, but it's it's good enough. So, yeah. Now I am back in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to work on that flag graphic that you see just above the windows there. And again, this is just simple vector shapes. So I'm going to start with a rectangle, and I'm going to turn snapping on so I can just make other rectangles, uh, and then just place them over right over top of that wide rectangle that I made, that, that red one in the background. So uh, that snap tool comes in handy, and that way you don't have to worry about aligning things. You can just place the, the rectangles and the, the squares where you need them without having to worry about uh, making sure everything is aligned on the top or the bottom or whatever. So this is a very simple graphic to make. Again, I could have done this in Photoshop, but I just prefer doing all of this in Adobe Illustrator just because I'm, I'm faster that way. I, I, I'm still kind of, I'm clumsy when it comes to doing vector graphics or vector graphic creation in Photoshop. It just doesn't seem to do, I don't know, I, I can't do it. But uh, yeah, so now I'm stealing graphics and elements from other illustrations. Got the Star Alliance logo there, put on the front. And I think we're just about there. It's looking pretty good. And, oh yeah, so now we're doing the Scandinavian titles on the engine. And I think it was just Myriad, or that uh, Myriad, 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 <laughs> just the standard font that comes on every computer these days. Uh, again, it may not be 100% accurate, but it's really close. And I'm just going with that one. So um, looks good to me. Get that placed. Do some organization here in my layers palette just to make sure everything is uh, where it should be. And now, yeah, so it's time to add all the gloss and reflections. And yeah, you can see airliner art is really easy to do. I mean, anybody can do this. And to prove it, I actually just spent the last month creating a full course about airliner art for beginners and the link for that is in the description below. So if you've ever wanted to learn how to do airliner art the way that I do, uh, do check out that course. It goes through everything. Uh, even if you have no experience, I walk you through all the steps, every single step that I take to create this, this type of airliner art, uh, step by step from beginning the illustration to doing the research to actually creating the, the graphics in Adobe Illustrator to importing them to Photoshop and then all the way to these end stages here where I'm adding the gloss and reflection to make it look more photorealistic. And not only that, I talk a lot about how to market yourself as an airliner artist. If this is something you want to do professionally and you want to actually sell your airliner art, it's, it's definitely possible and I share my experience and my advice about that. So again, if you wanna check out that course, it is in the link in the description below. Or what I should say is the link is in the description below <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just about done with this and I'm just adding in all just a, just a few more little details. I'm going to add a hard reflection to the engine here. And um, it's probably a little bit over exaggerated, but if you know me, you know my style. And I just like, I like bling. I like shiny gloss reflections to the point where it's almost not realistic, but to me, that's that's what I like. That's my style. And you know, I guess that's the important thing when it comes to creating your own artwork and doing your own thing. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. You create your illustrations and your artwork the way that you want to do it. It's okay. This is this is handmade artwork. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what you want. That's the most important thing. So yeah, there you go. There is my Scandinavian Airlines livery, the new Scandinavian Airlines livery on the A350-900. And yeah, such a beautiful livery. I, I was 
really kicking myself for not doing an illustration of this sooner, at least closer to the time of when it was unveiled, but oh well. So yeah, I got it done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some form or another. And as always, if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. I will respond to them as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, that's it for me this time. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.